What's going on fellas? Just want to make a quick little video for the cats that I follow on YouTube. You guys know who you are. Much love and respect. I know it's been about a month or so since I dropped the video. Just a lot's been going on. Family, personal, and just busy with work. And um, just haven't really had time to do a quick little video for my friends that I follow on YouTube. And uh, blessings to you and your family. Let's just dive into this real quick. It's about 12.30 Eastern Time. Go Celtics in the Eastern Time Zone. And uh, yes, I finally finished my white TF2 build that I got a few months ago on the trade. When I traded the Axe build that I did that was off a of Gen 8 pack. If you guys follow the channel, know that I had a Gen 8 pack for probably less than a month. And I ended up having to return it. But I love the body so much. That's before I was really onto the hard bodies. And uh, shout out to Sean's RC's Adventure. He's one of the guys that really like emphasized the hard bodies and kind of had me really looking at them. And now I'm just hooked. So uh, recently just got a lot, got rid of a lot of portal rigs, kept about one, yeah I got one so far, and I'm just kind of over the point and just barrel over everything go and going and driving, and uh, just loving the trail scale side of the hobby, always been an RC trail guy, but the uh, scale side of the hobby, the hard body side of the hobby, the taking your time, finding the line, going, just having fun, I kind of like that more than just barreling over everything with a portal axle or a big 4.7 tire. So let's just talk about these quick little parts that I got. And uh, again, apologize for the bootleg camera action. And um, so yeah, I did go with the RC four wheel drive bow bar. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna mount it. I do have some mounts right there, as you see, that I can mount it on my TF2 or just another rig. Love the bow bar, love that I can put different KC lights in the front, so that's pretty cool. I got some cool little jerry cans that I got on sale. Like there was like two, three bucks. Every time I see them low, I just buy them. The gray one right there was actually white and I did it gray. Besides that, that's an RC plate shop. This one right here is the first version of the RC plate shop from a couple years ago. These are the new ones, the metal versions. That's my cousin, uh, Edwin, Eddie, who passed away. And that's just my daughter, uh, her name and her nickname. These are the CC hand emblems. I actually got the CC hand Toyota emblem on the Tamiya Hilux Grow right there. And um, yeah, that's that. Besides that, I got some SSD scale hubs, the chrome joints with the. This is important too because people say the RC four wheel drive tool works. Well, it doesn't for me. And I got the RC four wheel drive because uh, Marty came with both tools. For the Yoda hub, so uh, that's the tool right there that you need. Only like five bucks. Twisted Tree RC, best antenna whips in the game, right there. Been messing with that guy uh, for a few months. Told a couple guys about them, and uh, just a cool. I have the tennis ball smiley face on my Marty rig. I wanted to uh, get a couple more, so I got the. I'm gonna throw the eight ball on my white TF2 rig right here that I'm about to show you guys, and I do got the fox tail. And I also got just a copper one, a regular copper one by itself. Uh, this right here has some SSD slots. Long story short, I got some credit from A-Main. And uh, I don't know what happened, a glitch in the matrix. But it was supposed to be 26, it ended up being 46. And I just, after it kept going 26 to 46. And uh, obviously I waited for it to get to 46 and just bought the SSD. 1.55 slots with the scale hardware that's the scale hardware that'll go that'll just take away from those big lug nuts that you see right there you see the big lug nuts right there and these little scale hubs they look like little scale lug nuts will replace that and have it just looking so much more better and um and i also went with the pbx pitbull pbx these are 3.5, 1.55 tires. I have the 1.9s. Well, I had them. I sold them. And uh, again, kind of over this 4.7 super big tires or even the 1.9 kind of big tires. 1.9s do have some small tires, which are pretty cool. But uh, right now, I'm just on my scale 1.55 wave with the B-locks and the tires and all that. And uh, those are just some, these are just some, uh, the RC four-wheel drive these are the the Yoda hubs the black and pink ones these are just pretty cool always like them since the Marty this right here is just a part that was someone told me to uh, it's just good to always have uh, um, 
Damn, what's this part again? I apologize. Part number ZS0704, the slipper cut, slipper clutch. Because you never know when yours is going to go. Whether it's six months, a year from now, and you know you just have it already. And uh, the other thing is just some cool SSD. The other scale hubs from SSD, these are the red and black ones. Let me see if you can kind of see them right. Damn. There you go. Red and black, and uh, just one of those. Just thought they were pretty cool. Um, some cool little rear view mirrors that I needed. This one's a little big. Maybe throw that in my Cherokee. And um, this is the old school. My father had a Toyota 1.8 twin cam. And he had one of these mirrors. Had like the five mirrors in one. So uh, cheap little products. Cost three, four, five bucks. So uh, that was that. Oh, these right here. I actually made these. I was going to buy a, um, a scale sleeping bag. I put it in the cart at Amazon. And they wanted like $9.90. It was like $13 to check out with it. I had some sh some felt, 35 or 22 cent, 25 cent, a little square, and I uh, took the specs off the Amazon website and just rolled it up, used the skinny zip ties like as the little rope, cut it, cut it out like a little slant, you see the little slant slant, make it look like a little belt fastener, I made a bunch of these, probably like 50 of them, man. I sent a bunch of them to all over the country. I actually sent some to uh, Spain, I believe, like 10 of them to Spain, and then some to Wisconsin, and that guy was in Green Bay, yeah, Green Bay, uh, and Florida, and uh, yeah, that was pretty cool that some people wanted these, and like I said, if you guys like these, um, they're so cheap to make, I make a bunch of them, and I'll put them in a white little envelope and mail them out, got to mail some to my buddy, RC Dungeon, check out his channel, good channel, uh, scale rigs, trail rigs, just a cool guy, that uh, super dad guy that likes to do RCs in the spare time, and uh, go check him out. Really good guy, helps me out a lot. And uh, besides that, let's talk about the meat and potatoes, the white TF2 that I finally got to. This is the white TF2. I got this on a train for a Gen 8 pack Axe body, and uh, I just wanted, at the time, just some more trail rigs, and I wasn't trying to, I mean, leaf spring rigs, and I wasn't trying to come out the pocket after getting the Marty came across this deal I did it instantly and now uh, little by little uh, again my buddy RC Dungeon told me about the we was talking about the Marlin grill this grill circle headlights square headlights and he's the he's big on the one-to-ones and he knows the stuff real like he knows the real stuff so he's able to translate it down to the RC world I kind of know the RC stuff but not the one-to-one -one, so he knows what's cool what's not and uh, he told me about the Tamiya grill and uh, from there, I did the research. Had to buy the parts tree. Had to buy like part A, part B, part C. But twelve dollars, nine dollars, eight dollars. So altogether, it's under thirty, under thirty to thirty-five dollars. And you get the the whole bumper, the whole front setup. And uh, I like it that the CC hand emblems. You just had to scratch it with a little sandpaper. I took some E6000 with a toothpick, put it on there, and bum. I am using the white TF2 stock. Um, front bumper but I just painted the tips black but I also have the this one right here is that this is the Tamiya so if I ever want to switch it up and go with the all black look I can I can go with the all black look with the with the Tamiya uh, Hilux uh, grill bumper and then I had another stock RC four wheel drive bumper and I just painted it all black so just in case I wanted to switch it up, but since I got a lot, a little bit of chrome here from the stainless steel screws, the SSD slot wheels, I just uh, wanted to leave it go with the chrome. Long story short, you know RC four wheel drive has the sometimes their bodies whether they come pre painted, red, blue, black. The interior I wasn't feeling the interior being black. It had kind of had that plasticky look. And I was going to leave this all white with the Yoda LC Classic wheels and go with the light blue interior from the 1 to 1. But I wasn't really feeling the light blue. I came across some dark matte blue Krylon Fusion all-in-one. It was like $8 a bottle. Ace Hardaway gave me a $5 clip coupon. So I paid like $3.80 to the curbside pickup. And uh, that's that. This is the interior again. 
apologize for the lighting. I apologize for how, but you can kind of see I used uh, the the felt squares as car mats. I went with the dice for the shifter. I went, you see right there, I went for the dice as a shifter. I put a little CB in there. And uh, yeah, this is it right here, fellas. This is my white TF2. And again, I was going to leave it all white. And uh, my daughter kept coming saying uh, I was calling her, coming up with a name. I kind of had Snow Bunny as the car name. And she was like, you should name it Basic because it looks basic. And uh, I had a decal sheet from just having it. And had some other decals from the extra cab and just a bunch of other decals. So it took a little while, but uh, I went with these decals. And this, these were the original decals that was on here. But when I took the decals off to throw them to just get the body all white, I ended up ordering the same decals. So I had them in the cut. And uh, yeah, man, I put them on. I put the little stripe on right here. For some reason, had the little like keyhole. I was too nervous to try to paint. My hand was all shaky. I think it was from the cup of coffee I had. So on the decal sheet, they had these little like bullet holes. And uh, I used like a little bullet hole as like the little keyhole thingy. And uh, yeah, that's that. I'm running some SSD slots with the 1.55 uh, brake router. And I do have the, these are the Mickey Thompson uh, Amazon specials, the clones, Baja M MTZ. Baja MTZ and I got these these are about 20 to 21 when I did the trade the guy actually gave me these with some other I have that came with these with the mud thrashers I believe with the 1.55 spokes so yeah fellas um just repainted the body all white added the decals added the Tamiya grow with the CC hand emblem like I said I still gotta throw those CC hand these right here I gotta throw and I gotta like put them like right here boom and I'll just I'm just in no rush kind of got in the RC warp zone doing this and was up from like Saturday 1 p.m. all the way till Sunday like 5 a.m. so yeah that was that so I kind of put this away for a couple of days uh, I'll take these little uh, long posts and I'll slip them with the snippers as low as I can until I get the one little uh, little hole so I'm able to put the axial I got some axial black little clips right there so it'll just clip as low as possible and um yeah that's that i also got the roll bar in there that came on the stock that came stock with it it's a metal roll bar it's not plastic um i got this bumper as well i got the bumper as well and the bumper is a metal bumper that I got for the specifically for this body. Um, I got the Toyota CC hand emblems. I did have four wheel drive going here from lifting it up, moving it. I kind of messed the letters up and then trying to pick the letters off. I kind of scratched at it. So I just do the limited edition, whether it's a limited edition or not. Don't really care. Just stuck it on there from the decal sheet. This was the Toyota. Anybody that ordered the CC hand emblems just order them when you know you're going to throw them right on. I ordered it and kind of got caught up with a bunch of stuff. My wife and daughter caught COVID. Uh, I didn't end up catching it, but I had to make sure that they was good taking care of them. And uh, I didn't catch it, but I think it was kind of harder dealing with the COVID and then not having it. Maybe I think it's easier if it just everybody had it. So you all just know you got to go up from there and get better from there. So that was a little kind of different but uh it ended up uh they, they're all better now but that kind of slower slowed everything down and again guys i just want to show you the build it's white tf2 mojave this came as an artr almost ready to run it was a horizon hobby uh tawa hobby exclusive like rc 4 wheel drive exclusive how they released the extra cab with the red body they do these little exclusive and this was the artr and uh Again, uh, my theme was just go with the white, go with the chrome. That's why I went with the chrome bumper. And uh, the body was actually in good condition, but uh, my uncle just wanted to repaint it, so I had him repaint it. And uh, yeah, so that was that. And again, the blue interior, I could have left it black, so it could have been all white, black interior. But that black plastic interior just looked too plasticky, just like the rear bed looked too plasticky. So uh, I had him paint that. That's also painted as well. It's a little dusty from just 
wife sweeping on the doing the Sunday cleanup and it gets dusty from being on the table and again guys um, yeah this is the body I do got the A&M garage front reversal kit you can see it right there it, I do got the Junfac drive shafts I do got the motor drop mod where the motor is just dropped so it's more for like performance this little thing does get busy uh, trailing and crawling it's like a little spider monkey but you can see the motor drop mod right there I do got the super lift steering stabilizer not the Rancho got the yellow lights on the front yellow lights on the side yellow lights on the bumper the metal emblem uh, just a simple rig I got a 27T Trailmaster Sport axial motor that I got from Amazon for like 14 I had some credit had to use it I had a Tekken in there but I guess the brushes was going and I never rebuilt the Tekken so I just took it out do the 27T in there so yeah guys just wanted to show you my white TF2 and now my next build will be the Boom Racing BRX01 unless God forbid I get I come across some other rig and that'll go in the back burner but uh, so far it looks like the BRX01 everything is in there looks pretty sweet guys and I've um, got the DS3225 servo oh, and um, yeah that's about it man again I wanted to show you guys some cool little parts I got the RC four wheel drive that I finally got to. Oh, I do have an exhaust back there. The exhaust is from the, I believe it's from the Trail Finder, the Forerunner, the TF two Mojave. I don't know which one they're from, but uh, yeah, you guys get it. Don't want to make the video long. And again, I'm working it, holding this light bulb and trying to go. It's about little one to one in the morning. So again, guys, I apologize. And uh, yeah, man, you guys stay blessed, stay safe out there. COVID is real, so just be careful. And I just wanted to show you guys some cool little scale goodies. The RC trail and scale side that I'm on. Now I got about, I got the, I got my Marty RC four-wheel drive extra cab. I have this that's work. Yeah, my Marty four-wheel drive extra cab. I have the white TF2. And I have a uh, Jeep Cherokee on a Gen 8 pack chassis. And I have my BRX01. So, so far I got three working rigs with one kit built, the BRX01. And uh, yeah, that's that, man. Got rid of a few rigs, sold some things, and was able to take care of myself. And got my little BRX01 as like my personal little gift to myself, early Christmas present. Because it isn't cheap, but it was well worth it. And I was able to sell the extra body. So the kit ended up being a little lower as well. Alright guys, you guys stay safe out there. Stay blessed. Peace.